Joining me now is Dr. Kate Talinko. She's the founder and CEO of Corvus Health. Uh, Kate, what do you make of this? Uh, what's happening right now? I mean, we're looking at Guayo, really haven't had serious problems now. It seems like it's just going everywhere. Well, one of the things that's been discovered about the Omicron variant is that compared to Delta, it replicates 70 times faster in, in the upper airways. And so that means that, that people who are infected are able to infect many more people. Also, it doesn't infect the lower lungs as much. So people are less likely to be symptomatic. So they're more likely to be walking around infecting other folks. And so I think that's what we're seeing, just the how different Omicron up from the other variants. And Kate, uh, lockdowns, uh, they've worked as a mechanism to basically strangle the spread of the virus, but uh, this deep into the pandemic, folks just simply don't like them, the fatigue factor uh, wearing rather thin. Yes, and you certainly saw in Chengdu, you know, where uh, buildings were rattled by that 6.8 magnitude earthquake people wanting to leave their buildings and, and not be able to. We know that all over the world, you know, during the lockdowns, we've seen increase in domestic violence, in child abuse, you know, alcoholism, you know, drug abuse and overdose, and aggravation of, you know, existing mental health um, disorders and, and the start of, of new mental health disorders, such as you know, anxiety, depression, uh, you know, a fear of going out, agoraphobia. I mean, there's no doubt that, that it is very stressful. And, you know, uh, co countries have had to balance um, that uh, psychological stress with uh, making sure that, that people are able to be safe in other ways. You just gave us a laundry list of the psychological toll from all of this. Um, if people are watching and they're, they're stuck in their place and, and they're, they're really struggling with this, any suggestions? I know a lot of people say, you know, try and exercise or do this or that. But, I mean, do you have any suggestions? Well, certainly um, there's now much better access to, to telemental health. So seeing if you can get help that way, you know, sunlight is very helpful. Exercise, um, as you mentioned, you know, calling a friend, calling a loved one, you know, having um, a conversation, uh, planning for what you want to do in the future when you are able to leave. All of these are, are things that, that will help you, you know, look forward and, and, and be more bright and positive. And Kate, as you know, the White House today, uh, they were talking about variant-specific vaccines uh, that we could at some point end up with a vaccine being administered once a year, much like the flu vaccine here in the States, knock on wood. Um, where is China in the development of Omicron-specific vaccines? So um, China does not have one that, that's going to be released anytime soon, but, the, the, but there are several under development. But the good news is that China just uh, approved a inhaled version uh, of one of their vaccines. And so people who don't want to use needles, uh, this is um, used as a booster for COVID. But, um, but as I mentioned, there are several um, mRNA vaccines um, you know, under development that, that will be uh, based on the Omicron variant. All right, Kate, always great to talk to you. Thanks so much for your insights. Thank you.